peace and happy now now is to vibrate the rate at which we're vibing not going too far in the future not going too far in the past right now right now want to open up to this idea that most people don't really open up too fully and it's as far as like uh you know our spirituality this awakening we we dealing with right now you know what is it really about you know uh you know some people say it's about the melanated people waking up some people say it's about you know uh the feminine energy arising some people say it's about balancing the energy some people say it's about religions falling some people say it's about us being nice to each other and harmonious you know some would say it's about creating the world we want what's really going on you know and you know from from the vibes you know that i'm i'm dealing with and what i get a lot is just that it's uh it's a vibe for us to realize that we create the world that we want you know now of course there's more to it than just that but that's one of the things that i feel like strongly is us awakening to the fact that hey basically like one of the main things to the awakening you know from my perspective what i feel is that it's about like hey don't forget y'all y'all create this reality so if you want your fucking hands to be your feet and your feet to be your hands if you want to create a new limb if you you know what i'm saying like whatever world you want to create you know it's yours to create you know and you know i feel that it's not so much uh like the these other things that that go into it now i feel like indirectly these other things that go into it because of course while you know when creating the world that you want you know it takes some type of balance so of course then you know balancing the masculine and feminine energies kind of come in directly into that situation you know when you're creating the world you want you know you want everybody to be you know be cordial and diplomatic with each other so we all could kind of you know do the things we love so of course you want to have some type of balance of course you want to have some type of harmonious vibes between each other you know on some type of level where you know again like the unconditional love vibe where you know i uh under any you know no matter the condition i love you i don't have to like you and agree with everything you do but you know love you unconditionally because i know we connected you know what i'm saying but you know uh first and foremost it's about creating the world you want and the reason why i'm bringing this up because you know where do a lot of us get our ideas of what spirituality should be you know and i want to i want to raise the question so strongly to even say you know do we know for sure that we should follow the same exact way the way some of the ancestors left the blueprint you know like when we think about like how the uh you know with the comedic ancestors you know or egypt whatever uh what have you as far as like you know everything is about uh transitioning you know what i'm saying going back into the light realms how we don't know this time is about balancing uh or being able to attain those, those high realms and be able to interface with earth at the same time you know like interfacing with both where we could just kind of pop in and out of this reality with these you know instead of like completely abandoning the physical you know uh just completely you know what i'm saying which is something that they might have did you know it's like do we have to go through the same exact thing it was what, what or was that example something to to show like hey we did it this way and our ass is not around right now for that reason or whatever the case may be which one said not around they you know uh physically but always around and when i say physically I don't like using that word in that case because I feel like the non-physical is physical, you know what I'm saying? Like, if I get a buzzing in my ear or, you know, if I feel the energy, that's physical, you know what I'm saying? Regardless if I, I can't 
see it in a 3D format, that's something that's still physical, ringing in my ear from the ancestors, that's something physical. So, you know, uh, I use that word non-physical for lack of a better word when I be in the motion of talking, but, you know, I feel like all, all that realm is physical, but again, back to just questioning the, the you know the way the way you deal with things spiritually you know are you following your heart or are you following the the last the the, the newest uh post from from a, a new age blog that you follow the newest post from so and so that you follow it is it you just following that information because somebody said you know hey this is the way of spirituality or are you following it because somebody did tell you hey this is the way of spirituality but your heart also resonated with it you know what i'm saying you know uh but that's another thing too why everything is about you know that the alchemical picture of jesus you know a caesar bargea <laughs> you know pointing to his heart if you don't know who caesar bargea look him up you know pointing to his heart and pointing up was the alchemy of, you know, the way up, the way to the higher self is through the heart, you know. So you, you got to be tapped into your heart, you know, on an unconditional love level and on a level of, uh, you know, being able to, to read things from, a you know, on a soulful level, you know what I'm saying? See what resonates with your soul and not nothing that was just taught to you over time, you know. And that's what a subconscious programming, like, when you check in subconscious programming, you got to ask yourself, like, is this something that my parents taught me? Is this something that I seen as a little kid? You know, like, you know, when you're trying to dig deep into your psyche, that's why psychiatrists, you know, a lot of times they ask you, how was your relationship with your mother? You know, because that relationship, in a lot of cases, program your subconscious to do a certain thing, you know? Come to find out you hate Christianity because your mom did a certain thing dealing with church when you was younger and it traumatized you, you know? Same thing like, for instance, with me. One of the things where, you know, like, cause I feel like right now as a person that deal with the cold esoteric information, I should deal with the Bible a little more than what I deal with, with it, you know, right now. But it's a little bit of that traumatization of being forced into it you know, as a kid and knowing that the shit was some bullshit as, as, as a whole, you know what I'm saying? Knowing that the Catholic religion and all that shit was to just deter us from, you know, the true meaning of a spirituality. Once I got that high information, I just like, oh, fuck the Bible all the way, you know, in the sense of like, I'm just not even, I'm not, even though I know they have certain truths sim symbolically and I'm not even trying to deal with it on that level. It's like, bro, I'm done. Like, I done did uh, cat what we call catechism or Sunday school, what it was from the first grade to 11th grade for most of my life, you know what I'm saying? I'm done, you know what I'm saying? So I have a certain type of traumatization that that makes me want to get away from that energy. And and, and that's, what, again, creating, your, creating who you are and the way you think and operate, you know what I'm saying? You start to see why universal frequencies don't use the bio oh, because he's traumatized from that situation growing up, you know what I'm saying? And that, and that does have a lot to do with the way I uh, feel towards the, uh, you know, the Christian religion, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm, I'm sitting there wasting my time. They telling me, go to confession to talk to God, and I'm already talking to God. So it's like, you know, yeah, I'm going to feel some kind of way. Now, of course, I done got to that place, though, where it's forgiveness, you know. I realize I'm a soul that chose the situation, so my heart not weighing heavier than a feather, you know, I, I can't. Uh, I won't hold them to that situation when I know I chose this whole interaction, you know, for myself. So, you know, there's nothing, you know, to that situation anymore on that level. But, you know, again, shaping the subconscious. So you want to ask yourself, you know, you know, truly, like, what's the reason why you're doing this? I feel that, that you should practice things in this manner, you know, because uh, I feel that that's important to to really deal with because I, I see myself where like say for instance with the spiritual vibes where sometimes I find myself not so like I'm always dealing with the unconditional love vibe always you know feeling loving towards uh, others and always in a good mood but sometimes I'm not uh, say for instance I'm genuinely soulfully not all the way up here 
with, with that, 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 like, giving off that love or showing it on that type of level, I'm not always up here with, with that, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, it's always shown, but it comes a part of the day where I'm just vibing, I see, you know, all right, you know what I'm saying? Not always, like, turn up to, like, oh, you know, love and, and to each his own, uh, which, of course, it may uh, bloop, bloop, roll over a few toes, but... <laughs> You know, it is what it is, and just explaining the, the information, but, you know, sometimes I'm genuinely not feeling that vibe, so when I look to how some people may teach, or at least subconsciously, because it's shown all the time, it teaches, because that's another thing, you know, uh, even though a person may not be teaching you through, hey, you should act like this, they may be indirectly teaching you by acting a certain way all the time. If they act in a certain way all the time, that's kind of teaching you indirectly because, you know, the symbology of you seeing them do this all the time, it'll work on your subconscious. Have you feeling like this is the way to do this, you know, because you're constantly seeing somebody act in that certain type of way, you know, and again, you know, uh, ask yourself you know am i feeling this from the heart like am i feeling like this is something that really resonates with me from the heart or am i doing this because this is what i see others do or somebody told me to do this you know and it's just you know self-assessing our spiritual path and our spiritual walk just making sure that we are extremely authentic about you know what we're doing and dealing with ourselves you know like making sure that that we are following our soul purpose in our heart. You know, that's you want to know what your spiritual practice is. If it was a religion to to follow, it, I'm about to make up a little. <laughs> you know, it's heartism. It's your own heartism. Like that's the religion. If you want to call some religion, is your own heartism. Not universal frequencies videos. Not Infinite Waters videos, Young Pharaoh, Black Magic, Blue Pill, Seven, Dan Winters. I'm trying to call out everybody so you know as much as, but it, it's about following your heart, you know what I'm saying, at the end of the day. You know, and, 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 to, and the true ones is letting you know, letting you know that on their platforms, you know what I'm saying. It's like, you know, uh, we sharing information that you may resonate, that may help you on your spiritual path. But it's all about following your heart at the end of the day. What resonates with your soul. Because in order for us, because that's why it's about being brave again too. Because it's it, it's some of us sitting with a certain certain information, uh, or a certain information that like in, in hindsight or just like on a level where, you know, it'll it'll seem like it'll make even light beings be surprised or, or, or throw light beings off but it's something that's meant for us to hear and something for all of us to grow and it's just so unique that you know just you embody that message you know what i'm saying but if you're scared or you feel like well nah uh because i don't hear nobody talk about that now so i'm not gonna share that i don't hear nobody speak on spirituality on this level now so i'm not gonna share it you keep and, and here it is that you keeping you know the next book from us or you know the next level of information that that's gonna help the whole world to sin you know and here it is that you're not sharing it because you think you should follow a certain template of spirituality you know what i'm saying or, or, or uh you shouldn't share this because you know uh, things are already going this way and i don't think you know because i think to 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 my thoughts and you start to see how your spirit communicate with you when I look back and I think about like what my spirit used to kind of have talk to me or giving me this vibe of like that I was gonna start or kind of just having the urge to start like a new uh, Rastafari religion, you know, for lack of a better word, a new vibe to it to where it was gonna become new age, you know what I'm saying? And then when I look at my walk right now, it's like, you know, the way to communicate to me, you know, for me to understand it, you know, my mind or my higher self, like making it seem like, yeah, you're creating a new religion of Rastafari in essence. But that was just a way of it communicating to me that, hey, you're going to kind of just have a new form of, 
uh, spirituality and a new walk to the way you deal with things. And it's going to have a little bit of the Rastafari vibes in there, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. But it's going to be new and different, you know what I'm saying? And that's the you know reason why I had those vibes. And I'm, I'm being that person, you know, I'm being myself. Instead of like, like so say for instance, I could have been like, well, you know, somebody... Uh, say Rastafari is this and you know and then when they brought up Selassie I, and when they worship in Selassie because this, this is literally what happened what always happens to me and how I know what I'm supposed to deal with and what I'm not you know it's like when somebody go to worship in Selassie I, and then my heart drops you know like my heart kind of like mm, I, don't, mm, I don't resonate you know what I'm saying now in that moment I could have said well, you know, but the brother's strong about this, and, you know, they older than me. You know, like, all those, they, like, you know, and society teaches that bullshit of, like, you know, of course, you know, the elders come before us, so in most cases, they done been through things that would allow for us to learn from them. But if they being stubborn in their ways and they not continuously learning, then an elder could be hindering to us. But here it is, well, once my heart go to, like, feeling funny about somebody saying worship Selassie, I... In that moment, I could either follow my heart and what really resonates with me and know like, all right, nah, that doesn't resonate with me. So I'm not following that in that manner. You know, like what I really did. Or I could be like, well, no, you know, it's the elders that told it to me. You know, the majority of the people around me deal with this. So I'm going to just stay in it, even though it don't resonate with my heart on that high level. You know, and it's like, not you know not serving your purpose and not serving your soul you know whenever you doing things that don't resonate with your heart you know not if it resonate with your heart to worship slide side and you know of course you know teach his own you know but you, you shouldn't worship no no being know that everything and all things exist within within yourself you know there's nothing outside of you that you need to in the face with you know and when i say need to you know as far as like uh feeling like something is coming from outside of you you know even the sun that's the sun that's in the sky is inside of you you know everything is inside but you know and again just back to what this you know what, what is this spiritual awakening about because if all is mine then why why do I have to create spirit spirituality in a way that you know so and so talking about it in this manner when I could create my you know I could create whatever type of world I want to see you know so why do I have to go about it in a manner that these people over here telling me or these people over here telling me you know should not be able to you know create this in the manner that I want to create you know okay because for me, that was one of the things, too, like, I, I'm that person, like, once you tell me I could create, <laughs> like, once you're telling me that I'm fully creating everything and that, you know, like, all is mine and all is, then it's like, all right, why am I kind of like, of course, you re you know, certain information resonate with you, but it's like, why am I following this situation or this information or this person, you know, again, like, tell me why am I, you know, why am I dealing with this if I'm, you know, if all is mine and I'm creating with my mind, why in the hell I'm eating healthy, you know? That's why it took me the longest to, like, even though I, I went into eating healthy pretty strongly and pretty quickly, I started falling out of it a little bit because I started learning more about alchemy and all is mine. I, I started to feel like, all right, fuck. If all is mine, then do I really have to eat all this healthy food, you know? That's the thing for me, like, really testing the situation, you know, not just going along with it because so-and-so say, hey, it's healthy to stop eating meat. Well, you know, let me see. Is it really healthy to stop eating meat? Is it really healthy to stop eating pine nuts? Yeah. Is it really, uh, you know, should I really stop eating almonds just because Dr. Seppi said it? You know, like, you know, and much love and blessings to, uh, you know, to the elders again uh, and a certain information, but, you know, you got to see what's up for yourself. You know, you got to check your own heart and see what resonates with you, you know. And that's important right now for all of us to know to to, to not just go along with shit, you know. To, to go within and see what resonates with you fully, you know. One of y'all came, like one of us, or, you know, 
then came down here and I say start a new religion or you know again open up some new ideas that could expand us even way more than any ideas ever given to us already you know what I'm saying like that's the thing like again all is mine we got the set we got the seven uh you know the universal laws from the emerald tablets or jehudi or the uh, what is some i think it's called a book of tote no i know for sure it's called emerald tablets i think the book of tote is one of alistair crowley books but anyway the hermetic principles you know what i'm saying well these are the universal laws set in place so you know again with this paradigm shift you know is it about uh again matter of fact go the other one is it about melanated people waking up and other, you know again that's an indirect product uh melanin is just something that uh you know this is body suits old souls get the pick of the litter you know if i if i'm an old soul or the, you know the old people you know they they get the pick of the litter so if you're an old soul, you got the, you know, you got the the old the, the body suit that's better fit for, for the situation. If you came later, you had to get the, the suits that was left over, you know what I'm saying, in essence. No one better or worse, or, uh, you know, uh, bad or good in this situation, just, you know, again, body suits. And when you came down here, boy, I was gonna say, you know, uh, about the spiritual awakening for the melanin situation, it's not so much as about melanated people waking up as much as is a raising vibration and the carbon or the melanin resonates with you know the fabric of the universe so it just allows for awakening to take place a little stronger in those beings you know that that uh has that that element within them you know what i'm saying but it's not like uh again because it's different storylines like from what i got from uh you know different dmt trips and all that is that you know, that's just the, the storyline within this dimension, you know. Again, in, in another dimension, there's blue beings that wake up. You know, all the ones that seem like they got more, uh, you know, energetic uh, abilities. Uh, and, and one place is the volcano people, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's different situations on all levels in so many different dimensions. So, that's not the, the, uh, the focal point, you know what I'm saying? Because again, that's another thing about the awakening too, though, is for us to realize that we're more than human, just generally, like for all of humanity, you know, and all, you know, like no matter, uh, like Michael Jackson said, don't matter if you're black or white, <laughs> like literally, like, you know, it's just for your ass to realize like it's more to this situation and to, uh, you know, and again, all is mine and you realize it's more to the situation then indirectly you know it comes some type of harmony that comes into it you know and, 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 and you see instead of just going along with the harmony you know what i'm saying and going along because of course we want to harmonize of course we want to balance energies but instead of just going along with it you you look at it from from a deeper perspective and you start to see like all right well you know all is mine and we're creating a the world then that would take balance that would take harmonization you know what i'm saying we would take these things instead of just hearing it come out of somebody's mouth and you know and whether they resonate with you or not you kind of just go along with it you know it's like nah you want to you know question things really know you know and see what's really going on you know and not just go along with things just because somebody spewing it out or somebody spewing it out by majority because another thing think about think about that like you know the new age movement and all this you know somebody will somebody is always preparing to oppress you know what i'm saying so and and the fact that remains is not only they oppressing the masses but they really making sure they oppress melanated people so with that being said you know just like how the catholic religion was trying to be promoted on such a mass level to try to create a certain reality you know some of these uh, new age spiritual, you know, uh, ways of being, you know what I'm saying, is to promote a certain energy, you know. Uh, you know, that's why a lot of certain things, you know, in disguise is promoting people to identify with being vegan. You know, that's a trap. A lot, and, and, and that's a trap that a lot of spiritual people 
that walk around doing yoga and talk about these, or uh, 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 deal with these things, don't talk about. They don't talk about how identifying as a vegan is a is a trap to trap you with identifying. You know what I'm saying? You know, they see it. Oh, you know, I'm vegan. I'm this. I'm that. You know what I'm saying? Not realizing, you know, another form of identifying yourself and you know, allowing for your ego to. Uh, hold some type of stock into this uh physical form more than your soul realizing that you know it's just a soul on a human experience you know so you know again like you gotta watch out for for the majority like you know just because something is majority too you know still this point blank period it just gotta resonate with your heart you know what i'm saying because of course we'll gravitate towards something that that has people by majority you know of course you know uh you know, you see a majority of people go to this restaurant, or a majority of people give good reviews for this situation. Of course, you're going to kind of take a look at it, but again, take a look at it, and, you know, it has to resonate with the heart, resonate with the soul, with the inner being, you know, compared to, to just running with it just because, you know, because so-and-so says so. As a matter of fact, even if it's coming from, you know, from some of the respected people, in the spiritual community, you know what I'm saying? I I'd be one of the first ones to tell you, you know, uh, question some of the shit that I say, or, or make sure you know it resonates with you before you walk away, you know, dealing with it, you know. Because with some of us giving this information, some of us are violent for certain positions. Sometimes, you know, I I'd be lying if I didn't say sometimes I present things and it's coming from, you know, how I feel in my perception and my perspective. You know, uh, like, of course, I present in an open-minded way, but then, like, say, for instance, because uh, I disagree with, uh, I'm trying to think of a certain example, but, you know, uh, I may disagree with a certain situation, kind of like with that, with the situation how I talked about finessing your kids, but over here, it's this, that, and the other, and over here, you got that. Like, I don't explain things in that type of manner, well, over here, you got this type of vibe. Over here, you got to do it, you know what I'm saying? Like, I done done that before. And, 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 and uh, with that being said, though, that that's my perception of, hey, this one kind of seems a little better and this is a little more shiny than this over here. You know what I'm saying? That That's my perception and, and the way I resonate with a, a certain piece of information, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, uh, just kind of like how some of us rather be more spiritual than logical and some of us rather be more logical than spirit you know what i'm saying like when when dealing with information from people we have to realize that you know and again this is something else that a lot of uh you know people who share information may not tell you or speak on is that you know some of us or a lot of us are uh you know have our own little positions within our information you know as well you know well, of course, you know, we know it's about being neutral and being in the middle, but it's just uh, what well, we may present the, the information like, well, say, for instance, some, some of us feel like the only way for you to, uh, to be a depth student is to do this, that, or the third in this manner, you know? That, that may be somebody's idea of how they want or matter of fact a lot of it is a mirror so when somebody say they want to see this that's what they want to see within themselves so they projecting that onto other people you know what I'm saying and, and again being being aware of that you know when, even when getting information from you know uh, teachers or students of the game whatever whatever you know you got to realize that situation you know where uh, it, uh, again, that's from from, from 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 there or from my own mirrors of perception of like, or, you know, in the, cause I, I hear that a lot, like you know, uh, and it's like with anything, you know, uh, this type of person gotta walk it like this, and you gotta talk it like this, and you gotta, like you know, I and it's like I feel you, but nah, you know, it could be done a little different. You could go about it, you know what I'm saying? That's more of the way you want to see it done, you know? The uh, the way you would like for your kids to go about it, you know? Like, uh, uh, or, because you missed that opportunity in life, that's how you would have did it, you know what I'm saying? Like, 
you know, and, and, and say, for instance, they explain in uh, information that's spiritual and that's, you know, real, but they, again, we all having our own little, you know, uh, uniqueness to presenting it, you know, and our own little perceptions uh, of, of how we sharing it, you know what I'm saying? So, again, you know, you want to be aware of that and just know that when you're dealing with any and all information, just let it resonate with the heart, you know questioning everything not in no uh because you know when i say question everything you got a person that could be uh like overly questioning thing overly questioning things in a way that's very hindering like uh why it is why water is water why you know and it just don't get nothing out of nothing you know but, but that's it you know in fact it's my cue you know, just resonate with the heart. Everything that resonates with the heart is what you should be going with. How you doing? Blessings. You know, follow the heart. Don't go with things just because to go with it. Let it resonate with you. You know what I'm saying? That's what I was talking about questioning everything. You know, don't be skeptical to a fault of not learning. You know, well, you just, oh, I don't believe in that, I don't believe in that. And then even when, again, back to I talk about that harmful ego, where you're so skeptical to where even when information that may present itself to help you to not be skeptical, you're still being skeptical. It's like, nah, you don't want to be skeptical on that level. But you definitely just want to be aware of just questioning, you know, and just seeing what really resonates with the heart. You know, but peace. Happy now. Now is a vibrate, of course. Not going too far in the future. Not going too far in the past. Right now. Peace.